avoid cataracts is quite challenging. In our routine OPD, we find these patients presenting to us in two major ways, white with high intralenticular pressures, with thick fibrosed anterior lens capsules and can have hard nucleus inside. The biggest challenge in these patients is of creation of capsular excess, a small touch and this is how you find an Argentinian flag sign because of high intralenticular pressures. Now to manage is quite tricky. Here we present the ways how which we can manage in our routine surgical arena. So if you see here, again high intralenticular pressures, fem to second platform and different platforms to create rexes have been a great boon in these situations but not everybody can afford and not every patient can afford. We as routine FACO surgeons should be able to take this challenge. So here we present our way by which we manage these patients. After pushing it heel on inside the anterior chamber, we give a small nick and side strokes. So the basic aim is to manage the convexity of the anterior lens capsule to make it flat and by this slow decompression and then pushing in the heel on flattens the anterior capsule. So if you see here using a side port micro rexis forceps once the anterior capsule is flattened a very careful round regular capsular rexis can be fashioned in these patients. So the basic principle is to decompress the bag and then flatten the convexity of the lens back complex and then gradually once the it is flattened you can fashion a good rexis once the phaco emulsification has been done a rexis can be as shown here enlarged using a micro rexis forceps from the side port and using a high density viscoelastic in the anterior chamber this rexis can be fashioned just to give a cover of 0.5 all around the optics of the desired lens. If you see here, the lens is well covered. A second situation is here where using a 26, we give a small nick, go inside underneath the anterior capsule and gradually aspirate out the fluid. Now care should be taken that the capsule should not be engaged in the vacuum so created and we gradually aspirate and trying to decompress this high intralenticular pressure inside the bag. Now once the fluid gets out, the anterior capsule becomes flattened and can further be dampened by pushing in heel on here and using a micro rexis forceps through the side port. Once this is flattened, a good capsular rexis can then be fashioned to the desired size. So in our experience, this is a great tool of managing the white mature cataracts.